Hello everyone, welcome back to the Node Concept and this is SDM with me Shubham from Blender File and today we have the Wavelength and the Black Body so it's total science deep within and so let's get back to Blender <laughs> Okay Alright, so I uh, know that it's wrong. Okay, so this is again a converter node and uh, we'll just add in a converter, black body and the wavelength, right. Okay, so uh, the wavelength, what it does? Really small nodes actually, and <laughs> they just convert a value uh, given into them to a uh, color output. So, uh, firstly the wavelength. So, wavelength is actually uh, the wavelength of visible light, uh, which ranges between 400 to 700 but uh, we have the wavelength over here set from uh, 380 so a lower limit is 380 and then we have an upper limit which is 780 right so uh, uh, near about red light which is something near 650 we'll see boom there is our red light over here right and you can play around with that and you will get is a different color different wavelength which uh, resembles a uh, color in a visible uh, light uh, that our eyes can see actually so 380 it goes uh, ultraviolet and you won't be able to see that with your naked eyes and then above 670 or something you'll go infrared which is again not visible to your naked eyes so that's the wavelength real simple note and next comes the black bo oh, black body, right? So a uh, black body is actually a uh, body which uh, reflects, emits, uh, absorbed light uh, when you heat it up. So you know if you have seen uh, in uh, metal factory, what does it call furnace? Yeah, right. So in furnaces, when uh, metal is heated, it is actually emitting a red light and that is because of temperature on its surface something near about 900 kelvins the metal turns red so uh, this is what black body does so it gives in a temperature input in kelvin okay right so uh, the wavelength actually is having uh, this input has a unit of nanometers not centimeters or something <laughs> it takes in nanometers and the temperature it takes in kelvin Right, so these are both a unit of uh, length and uh, temperature. Right, so black body, you can play around with that. And after a limit, you'll be getting only white light, which is a pretty big limit. Eh, I can't reach it, something like 5,000 Kelvin. Oh, sorry, 5,000. Boom, there it is, white color. And a real low value will give you red color. Temperature of zero Kelvin. Actually, okay, <laughs> that's kind of wrong. Oh, it sets it back to 50 Kelvin, right? So that's like 300 and something degrees. <laughs> All right, so that is what black body and wavelength does. You can also, you know, add in a value over here. Like we have a noise texture, you can plug it in. Okay, uh, let's just not use noise. We'll use a uh, texture gradient. The gradient. Is but the thing is, you won't be able to see it uh, because gradient gives a uh, factor between 0 and 1. And one wavelength is not actually taken into consideration over here, so it doesn't give any color. So uh, to do that, actually, what you can do is you have to add in your another converter, which is a math node. Yay, we discussed it like two tutorials ago. And so we can use it. So we'll change this to multiply. So that we can get is a good amount of multiplication. Let's go 200, and then we'll be adding it a value in there. And let's just see. Okay, there we have our value over there. Right now, adding in a value. Now you can see we can have a look at our gradient over there. All right, so looks nice. So the zero is actually uh, getting in a value of 465 because zero into uh, zero into 200 is zero, and this value and value 1 is multiplied by 2 then it adds in this which gives uh, 600 something 656.7 which is over here 
Alright, so uh, that is how you do it, and you can also plug that into the black body, and you'll see it's a red color. <laughs> it's too much, I guess. I know. Oh, it's too less actually. We're gonna go oh even more high, something like three thousand, and now you can see. Boom. So uh, that's how it works. It turns from red to white. <laughs> Alright, so this is how wavelength and black body work. And that concludes the tutorial. This was like, what, a 5 minutes tutorial or something. And that's it. We have completed these two deep science nodes, which are wavelength and black body. Uh, and we are almost finished with the converters, I guess. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, we have done. Only vector math is left. We'll be uh, doing this after we are started with the vectors because uh, before that we won't be understanding any stuff over here like vector, vector, vector and all uh, things and it has a deep math over there so we'll be you know taking this into consideration some other day and uh, we'll be starting off with the vectors in our next tutorial woohoo so uh, till then Stay tuned, follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash blenderfile and subscribe to our channel for the vector videos and I hope you learned and enjoyed the video and we hope to see you in our next video. Till then, happy blending and see ya.